Do you want to make attractive, bright, preppy Roblox Adopt Me thumbnails that attract new viewers to your Roblox channel but you don't know how to do it? Make sure to watch this video because I'm going to show you how you can make amazing preppy thumbnails that attract so many new viewers to your channel and will help grow your channel so much. Hi Tigers! Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here and in today's video I'm going to be doing something really really cool that a lot of people have requested for. I'm going to be doing a tutorial about how to make really really nice and really cute preppy Roblox thumbnails. So I know that a lot of you guys or like some of you guys really really want to start a YouTube channel and want to be a YouTube content creator and one of the things you need for this is like the skills to be able to create a really really attractive a really intriguing and a really bright and easy to read thumbnail so sometimes with thumbnails it's better if they're simple but also attractive because if they're too crowded with writing then sometimes they're not easy to read and people will just get confused and not click on the video so i'm gonna show you how you can make the perfect thumbnail for your channel for whatever video you're trying to make so this tutorial is going to be really really easy to follow but before we get on to the tutorial i am going to let you know what apps you're going to need and they're all free to download from the app store on ios and i think android so what you're going to need for one is pixart and I'm just going to show you what it looks like now. And then two, you're going to need an app called Fonto. And then you're also going to need the internet. I mean, I think that most people have the internet, but that's just to download some fonts for Fonto. And I'll get on to how to do that as well, because I'm going to show you how you can import the fonts to Fonto. But we'll get to that and you'll understand that when we get to that part. So... I'm going to explain it as I go along so it's not too hard for you to understand and you can do it at the same time as me if you have the apps already. So please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel before I start the tutorial so you don't miss any more of my videos like this because I'm going to be doing some more tutorials about how to start a preppy YouTube channel and this is going to be the first one. So first of all I'm going to open up PixArt and then I'm going to tell you step by step what to do. So first of all, make sure that you have some screenshots of your preppy Roblox house in Adopt Me. Or if you don't own a preppy house, then see if you can take pictures from someone else's preppy house. Because this house here is actually not my house in Adopt Me. It's someone else's house that I just took some screenshots from because I thought they would be really nice for thumbnails. So then what you're gonna wanna do is just click on crop, then click on the fifth one along, and then you can zoom in a bit, zoom out a bit, twist it, and then click apply. So sorry if it's a bit quick, but I'll try and explain it as best as I can. So then click on blur and I usually put it on about blur 8. I feel like that is better to blur it because it doesn't make the background too distracting. And then we're going to go onto stickers and add some preppy accessories. You can add borders, you can add glitter because there's also some brushes. Like if you want to use brushes and stuff, there's like glitter brushes on Pixar that you can use. But I'm just going to look for like a cute little preppy border for the thumbnail. So what I did find, if you search up thumbnail borders, it comes up with quite a selection for you to pick from. So I'm just going to pick this cute white border mainly because it's got a slight shadow on the inside and that kind of just brings the whole thumbnail together and I did just recently find this border so I'm definitely going to be using this one a lot and I also am searching up kawaii and you do have to scroll down a bit because there's a lot of stickers, there's a lot of different stickers on here and also you know you can't have the ones that say plus next to them unless you have pixarts plus but that's okay because you do not need pixart plus to make a really preppy cute thumbnail as you're going to see in this video so i'm just searching up some different things i'm going to find some cute glowing kawaii confetti i might use some like little bubbles because i have used them before and they're really cute and i also might just use some like little glowing things i'm thinking 
Um, but yeah, if you search up kawaii border, you can also find some really cute borders and like little like lines like this. I'm going to use these ones. And I'm just going to put them in the left corner here. And you can like put them up here or like down here and turn it around. But I think I'm just going to have it in one corner at the moment because I don't want to take up too much of the thumbnail space as I do want to have room to put a lot of other things in my thumbnail without it looking too crowded. So I'm just going to go down a bit and see if I can find some more like, little accessories to add to the thumbnail. I might like add some things but then after I've done some more I might remove it if I think like it doesn't go with the theme. You can just like try different things you know but you can also just follow exactly what I'm doing if this is your like you know first time making a thumbnail and you don't really know what to do and also as you can see when i was just moving some of the stickers there the other one moved but if you press on the layers you can actually click lock so then you won't be able to move them and they won't like get in your way when you're trying to add other things to your thumbnail so i'm just going to scroll down a bit and find some other like little things to go onto my thumbnail. I'm just searching up like different animals because a lot of the time it's kind of nice to add an animal to your thumbnail, especially if your channel is like, you know, around an animal or like not around an animal, but it's in your name. Like such mine is Tiger Plays. So I was looking for a kawaii tiger, but they don't actually have many on the sticker section, but they do have a lot of pandas if your channel is like, you know, about pandas. So now, as you can see, I'm just adding my GFX to my thumbnail and I picked this one of my GFXs for now because I'm really, really liking this one. And as you can see here, I just pressed on custom crop because I did have to custom crop it. And when you do that, it means you can like choose what like you keep and what you don't without it being like the square type of crop, you know? I had to crop it because it had the watermark of the app I used to remove the back of the GFX. And if you want a tutorial on how to make these like, I mean, I would call them quite high quality GFXs. Let me know if you think it's like a good GFX. I think you call it like a render. I think that's what people call them. But if you'd like, like um, a tutorial on how to make them, then just comment that in the comments, Tigers, and I'll give you a tutorial on how to make GFX renders next. So now I'm just adding some photos from my uh, photos of my like previous thumbnails that I've done because this thumbnail is gonna be for this video that I'm doing right now. So it's gonna be how to make really easy, perfect preppy thumbnails for your Roblox YouTube channel. So I'm just adding some of my previous ones here and changing the border colors to make them all stand out against each other. And when I'm pressing on them, as you can see, I'm also adding a border, but then I'm also clicking adjust. And then when I click adjust, I'm increasing the saturation to make them brighter. Increasing the saturation is really important in my opinion because it just brings your thumbnails to like a whole other level and I think it just really really like helps attract your viewers because you know it makes it vibrant. So now I'm just going to like arrange them a bit. You can play around with them, zoom out, make them bigger, tilt them and stuff like that. Um, sometimes it takes quite a while to do this for me just because like I kind of want everything to be like you know really really good that's how i like my thumbnails but i'm not really sure how this sticker is working with those like little drinks so i'm just going to remove them at the moment and look for some different stickers instead so here i am looking for kawaii tigers but i can't really find any that match the theme of my thumbnail too well so i don't think i'm going to add one of those at the moment but that's okay because it might kind of overcrowd it anyway you know if you know what i mean sometimes it does so even if i added it i would probably just remove it after um let's just see if there's like some little like bubbles like some glowing bubbles to go in the corners of my thumbnail to just like glow up the edges a bit um, sometimes you can just search up kawaii corners and that's how I got like those white lines before but if you search up bubbles I would like scroll down a bit and you'll find like some little um what they like like these like these little kawaii bright bubbles with like a glowing effect and I think they're really cute so I'm just going to duplicate that and add it to the other corner of my thumbnail as well so I'm really liking how this looks so I've just saved it to my photos so now we're going to go on to the next app which is Fonto. So then just import your photo to Fonto. Make sure that you've installed some fonts because I, on my opinion in Fonto, there's not that many preppy fonts that are there to begin with. So I would go on to font and import your own. But I'm gonna show you how to do that with one of these fonts in a minute. But as you can see, I've already got four fonts of my own already imported into Fonto. One of them is Chicken Pie. It's a really, really popular preppy font because I do see it on a lot of people's thumbnails. 
and this is what you do so to create like a gradient effect you just press on style then you press on like outer line and then you press on create color pattern then you add your colors and in the top right corner there's a bit that says gradient effect and then you can pick which direction the gradient is in so now I'm just going to look at my different fonts and see which one I would like to do next. I think I'm going to do this one and call it Preppy Roblox and then like a few little dots because then I'm going to put thumbnail underneath. So for this one I'm going to make the text bright pink and then add the outer line as something else, maybe like this white. Um, now I'm just going to write thumbnails, I'm going to make this a bit smaller so then I can make the thumbnails a bit bigger because that is one of the main titles of the thumbnail, it's one of the main things, that's what I want people to see when they look at this thumbnail, like, that's what I want to draw people in because I feel like a lot of people want to know how to make preppy thumbnails because it's really the thing that makes people click on your videos. So yeah, I've just added an outer line to this one as well. I might change the font to chicken pie. Yeah, I think I am. I kind of like it better. So now I'm just going to put this here in the middle. And now I'm going to show you how you can import your own preppy font. So onto font, just download it, then go into your files, click hold it. Then it will come up with share, click share, and then it will come up with fonto, press fonto. It will take you to fonto, then it will take you onto install and just click install. So it's really, really simple. It's as easy as that. So as you can see, I imported kawaii icons, which are some little cute kawaii icons that you can add to your thumbnail to make it just a bit more preppy. So as you can see, I'm adding this like little... I think it's like a little preppy little symbol here and then I'm going to put one right next to it, make it a bit smaller because it's quite nice to layer them. I think layer th layering them looks really, really cute. So I'm just going to change the colours of this one, I'm like bright pink like this, but then keep it the same outer pink edge. So with this kawaii, um, Hawaii icons, you kind of have to press each letter to see which symbol it brings up because, you know, you don't actually know. So I'm just going through the letters right now, seeing which ones I like. I think I'm going to put this like little island one down here. Um, I'm going to make it like different colors. And I haven't done this on mine, but you can also make these grad gradient on the main color or the outer edge, just whatever you like. So yeah, now I'm going to find some other ones I like. Probably a dolphin, if I can find a dolphin. But I have just found this other type, which is like the opposite of the one I did on the right. And I'm not going to add an outer edge to this one because I think it looks pretty cute just like this. So then I'm going to duplicate it, make it smaller, and then I might change the colour or I might leave it the same. I kind of like it like that. So I'm going to look for a dolphin now because I would like to add a dolphin to my preppy thumbnail. I think it's a really, really good addition because I can put like the nose of the dolphin pointing to my writing and it just like makes it look you know really professional really cute really just like you know really good in like in my opinion tigers I mean I don't know how you feel about this thumbnail but I personally really like it so far so I don't know where that dolphin went at the moment oh okay I can see it now but when I was making this video I couldn't actually see where the dolphin had been placed when I pressed done so I'm just gonna get another one and then remove the other dolphin when I find it in the recording because I do actually find it tigers so I'm just pressing loads of random letters right now because okay I found the dolphin okay Good. So I found the dolphin this time. I'm just going to make it a bit bigger, point it towards the thumbnail sign. Um, I don't know if another one looks that good, so I'm just going to remove it. I'm thinking this looks really, really nice. Like I feel it looks quite professional. I'm really happy with this how to without with how this turned out. And now one other thing to draw my viewers in, I'm going to put easy in little like you know I don't know what they're called, but little bracket type things. So if you put easy, it kind of makes like people think that they're capable of doing this because everyone is if you follow these steps and you have the right apps i think that you tigers can all make these preppy thumbnails so i'm going to put this on the thumbnail so people know that it's easy for them to do and then i'm kind of going to make it like quite bright writing so it stands out from the rest of the words so the tigers know it is easy or like my tiger cubs but you know whatever you call your fans or just your fans in general so i'm going to put it in this dark writing and make it a bit bigger so it stands out from the rest of the thumbnail 
So I'm really, really happy with how this thumbnail turned out, Tigers. And I would really like to know if you followed this tutorial, how did yours turn out? And if you would like to post them on your community tab, if you have a YouTube channel, then I would really like to see how yours turned out. So as you can see now, I've just gone onto my photos, then on photos, press edit. This step is really important. Go on to exposure, turn it up. Go on to saturation, turn it up. Go on to vibrancy and turn it up a bit if you would like. You can go on to contrast and turn that up as well if you like, but it's not necessary. The only ones that are necessary are exposure, saturation, and warmth. I would do warmth because it just brings some like color, not like color, but you know what I mean, just like warmth to the thumbnail. It does what it says, you know? And a vibrancy is optional in my opinion. If you have saturation, I think that's enough. But as you can see, when you go into edit, you can then press it and then it will show you the original and then it will go back to your edited version of how you've made it more saturated so make sure you do, you do that as well because that is really important that's what makes it look vibrant and attractive to viewers on youtube so i really hope that you found this tutorial easy to follow tigers it was really really fun to film and also as you can see i've also got a new outfit in adopt me i just made it and i really really like how this outfit turned out it's kind of like a little like pink like doggy well not dog but like pink wild dog vibe yeah that's what it is it's like wild dog so yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, Tigers. And if you found it helpful, please remember to like and subscribe so you never miss another one of my videos. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, Tigers.